Hello and welcome to my video. I'm Brett Gurney. Appreciate you coming on here to check us out for a minute. I have something very special for you today. Uh, I'm going to feature a, a, uh, an interview with uh, a diamond leader in Valentis, Janet Jorgensen, and the creator of our product, one of our main products, Emulin, Dr. Joe Ahrens. Okay, and Dr. Joe is going to answer some very, very good questions. Now, that anybody that is interested in their health is going to be interested in this video and what Dr. Joe has to say because he's going to answer questions like, what exactly is emulin? Okay, that's something that a lot of people want to know. Um, how was emulin discovered? And how does emulin work? Okay, so I think you're going to enjoy this video. Uh, I'll put it on right now, and then I will come back just for a couple minutes at the end with some closing words. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Bye. Hello, this is Anna Jorgensen, Diamond with Valentis. And I'm very honored and privileged today to have Dr. Joseph Ahrens with me. And we're going to have a little discussion about emulin. And I know you're looking forward to this. So let's get started, Dr. Ahrens. Okay, First, go on here. Great to have you. Thank you. Number one, what exactly is emulin? Well, that's a really good question. Let's start with that one. Emulin are, is a set of three compounds, natural compounds that occur in plants. Uh, they're very much like a vitamin. We feel that we have actually discovered a new vitamin. It's a vitamin-like compound. And they really are essential for good sugar metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, and your carbohydrate metabolism, your sugar metabolism is just out of control. Excellent. So I understand that amulin is all natural. Is that correct? Yes, it's completely natural, unlike a lot of products. We do not synthesize these. We get them from plants to begin with, plant compound. We purify them. And then we uh, had a choice of using the synthetic version or not, but we have, these are all natural ingredients. So these are ingredients that you consume every day in, inside your food, inside plants, vegetables, fruits, but you just cannot get enough of them and you need them because they really are essential for a healthy life. Excellent. So tell us, Dr. Ahrens, how did your team discover emulin? Well, we started out uh, 2001, 2002. So, you know, that's like 15, 17 years ago, I was director of research at the Florida Department of Citrus, and they had assigned me to do something to uh, increase citrus sales, particularly grapefruit sales. So one day a guy comes in my office, you know, I'm really interested in grapefruit sales. Every time we hear that term grapefruit diet, um, whether that's true or not, sales increase. So we got together and said, why don't we then put a study together and see if we can really prove if grapefruit does indeed cause weight loss, not through some silly diet like drink black coffee and eat a grapefruit a day, but is there something in grapefruit that really does cause weight loss? So we had this study done at the Scripps Institute in California. Uh, Daryl Thompson designed the study. And... Lo and behold, yes, after three months, these people who were obese, they had metabolic syndrome, very high blood sugar, they lost weight and their blood sugar dropped and also their insulin levels got managed. So there was indeed something real, something physiological going on inside their bodies. Well, we wanted to find out what it was, you know, basically I'm a scientist and I'm curious about everything. Find out what it was, the Department of Citrus said, no, we have all the information we need. And so we did it on our own. So that you've heard of our company that's working with Valentis, ATM Metabolics. And over the next seven years, uh, we put our resources together and we did indeed find out what was in grapefruit. 
that caused this weight loss. What we found out was it's not just grapefruit. Every plant and vegetable, every food that has some sugar load in it, whether it's sugared cane, apples, oranges, pineapples, mangoes, carrots, they all have these compounds. And we further found out that they actually are very like vitamins. They are there to help you metabolize, to digest sugars. So by having these compounds in your diet along with sugar, you process the sugar perfectly, just how you were meant to. So you don't have these big high sugar spikes or insulin spike. You don't become obese. The sugar ends up going where it should go, and it stays out of places that it shouldn't go, like in fat. So you burn the sugar up. With these compounds, your body behaves as it should normally. Excellent. So tell us exactly how amulin works. Well, there are three compounds in there. We looked at about 10,000 compounds in plants that were in this family. And using some supercomputers, we determined which ones would best work together to have maximum effect. And that we put them in there, the amounts and the ratios to get the maximum effect. And what happens is one of these compounds will uh, inhibit the starch in your food, you know, like from potatoes and rice, it inhibits that turning into simple sugars like glucose and fructose. And uh, th therefore, you cannot absorb as much. That's the first thing. Right in your mouth, it happens. Then secondly, in your gut, you have little doorways in there, in your stomach and your intestines. They're called glucose transporters. And it inhibits those transporters. It does not close them all the way but it inhibits them, slows them down, so they're just open a little bit. And so the sugar doesn't rush right in there and cause all those problems. It just goes in nice and smoothly. And then in your muscle and brain tissue, those little doorways are there, glucose transporters, and it opens, helps them open more so you can receive that sugar into your brain and your muscles. You know, uh, we talk bad about glucose, like, you know, high blood sugar, but glucose is essential for your brain health. Your brain lives only on glucose, so you, we open those up and it, they enter your brain. We also found out that it increases insulin sensitivity by in the presence of insulin, it makes those doorways open better right out of their own pancreas. It stimulates the beta cells to produce insulin. Now, not only that, here's a nice one for people that are concerned about weight loss. It helps glucose leak out of fat tissue, actually leak back out, enter into your bloodstream, and then it can be used and burn up by your muscle and your brain. Now, that's all on the carbohydrate management side. Yes. So basically, I think you've answered my next question. What is amulin doing in the body? It's yes, it's actually very well known. We don't have just gross extracts of plants in this product. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of supplements on the market, they're just coffee extract or green bean extract. And No, we know the exact molecules that we are pulling out of these plants from the grapes and onions, for instance, the exact molecule. We know exactly what they're doing at what site, the metabolic chemical site in your body, the regulatory spots, and they are doing every one of those spots. And we, we don't, we're not guessing here. Excellent. So th now this is probably a silly question, but why do we need amulin? Well, you know, if you've listened to my story, you might believe me. It's because it's just like a vitamin. Everybody needs it. You don't need it if you're sick. Just if you're sick. Of course you need it if you're sick. Everyone needs it. You just think you're well because you do not have enough of this supplement in your diet right now. In a perfect world, it would be there in our diets, but through uh, agricultural breeding and uh, the way we raise the foods to get bigger and bigger and sweeter, we've left these out. There, there's hardly no more left in these black, dark grapes, and there's hardly none of this stuff left in these onions anymore and apple 
everything that's good to eat. They're just not there anymore. We didn't know they were there to begin with. We just made this discovery, you know, in 2007, finally figured out what it was. And so they went by the wayside. In addition to that, all processed foods don't have it. So there is some in raw sugar cane, raw sugar cane sugar. There's some in there. Not enough, but there's some. In the processed sugar, there's none at all. And you'd have to eat like 20 pounds of grapes just to get enough of this in your body. So this is why it's truly a supplement that everybody needs. So you think you're healthy? You're not. If you take some of this emulin in just a few days, you'll think, wow, I feel like I just woke up. That's because that fog has lifted. You don't have that high sugar running around in your body. It's not that we have healed any disease. We do not heal diseases. What we've done is support your immune system by giving it something it really needs. It doesn't just help it. You need it. And then your body heals itself. And that's what the amazing. Your body is really wonderful. If you're a baby, you need it. You're growing. You're building bones. You, you're developing your metabolism. It should be in food. So as soon as you're old enough to have solid food, you need to have some amulet. And then, as, of course, middle-aged. And you think about nursing mothers, everyone. We like to say, you know, from, from womb to tomb, everyone needs emulin. Excellent. Well, that's certainly a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. So how much emulin should one take? Well, we've, we've uh, built the dose based on average uh, human weights. So, you know, it's gone up over the years. And... Um, Right now, at the current bottling size and the current bottling tablets, capsules, uh, we think you ought to take 750 milligrams a day. That's about two capsules. I personally just take two in the morning. But if you want to take one in the morning and one in the night, that's just fine, or two in the night. Because after a couple of days, you'll get it built up in your body and you'll have a level in there, just like you have a level of vitamin D and a level of vitamin C. You have a level of emulin in there. And so it won't particularly matter the exact time that you take it. So you take two. But if you're suffering some malady, if you happen to have a broken bone or a cut, or if you've got diabetes or you're overweight, then I would take four or six, depending on if you're a, uh, you know, a large man, I'd take six. That gets under control. Go back to the two capsules a day for maintenance. Excellent. Oh, that's excellent. So it's safe for everyone then? Oh, yes. Totally safe. Uh, these are come from food sources. So, uh, but even if you are allergic to some food, this is just that specific molecule. I mean, the, for instance, this is grapes. You know, normally you can't give grapes to a dog, but you can give emlin to a dog because it doesn't have those compounds in it that dogs are allergic to. We've not found anyone so far that has been allergic. We're talking about tens of thousands of people. Also, the scientific literature says that there's no reaction to any of these products. You can't take too much. If you do, you eliminate it through the urine or through the skin. It is safe for everyone. Excellent. Well, you've answered all of my questions that I have. So is there anything else that you'd like to add about well, amulin? Think about amulin as a vitamin. It's something that everyone needs and you just cannot get enough from your normal diet. No matter who you are, take amulin. You will see some results. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dr. Ahrens. We look forward to talking to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, hope that you liked that video. I hope that you got something out of it. Now listen, you may have been sent to this video or this channel by a representative of um, Valentis. They may be a part of Team Valentis United. Um, and in which case, please go back to that person, okay? And let them know that you watched the video and that you want more information or you have questions or you want to get involved or whatever the case is, okay? So if you were uh, sent this video by somebody, please go back to that person. If you just happen to find this video by surfing online 
and you're at my channel, because I have two channels. One's a team channel that all the team members can use, and one is my personal channel. If you're at my personal channel, if you just happen to find me um, and you want to talk, just go down to the description below. Um, you'll see my contact information down there. You'll probably see a link, too, to go to a website to learn more and do that. Contact me, check out the information, subscribe to the newsletter because um, you'll find it if you follow the links, okay? Um, and I would look forward to speaking with you again if that is how you found me. But if you were sent uh, by a Valentis rep, a friend or an acquaintance, um, go back to that person, okay? Don't contact me. Um, go back to that person. We want to keep it right. So thank you, and um, hopefully we will talk to you or see you again soon, either you know personally or maybe um, on the team somewhere or in the company somewhere. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.